Hello. <laughs> um, I don't know how to start videos. I don't even know if this video will be uploaded. But, well, today I wanted to um, show you how I make EDM songs in GarageBand because I've seen people... Oh my gosh, I need, <laughs> I need to breathe and slow down. I've seen people ask me to show them how to make EDM songs and electronic music, whatever it's called. In GarageBand. So I'm going to show you the process of what I normally do. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have done something similar to this. But I don't remember naming it. I just remember naming it. I was bored. So I made a song in the style of Alan Walker. Which is not really the style I'm going for today. But eh, close enough. <laughs> yeah, Um. well, I guess I should start then. Um. Oh, the tempo's already at 129. I think it's because this was... This GarageBand project was already another remix of another song. I deleted all the tracks from it because I didn't want it anymore. So yeah, um, the tempers. I'll just turn it. You know, I'll keep it one hundred and twenty nine. What key should we put? Make this. I guess I'll just play around with the piano first. I guess we're gonna have to make some chords. Oh, this already. Oh, oops! I've already edited this. Never mind, I'll get to that stuff that I showed you there later. Let me just make this have no effects on it or anything. Okay, I'm going to try and come up with a chord progression. You don't have to go for the... If you're going to try and follow this tutorial, even if it's not really a tutorial or anything, um, <laughs> um, you don't have to follow the same chord progression that I do. Just come up with something that gets you inspired. Okay. Hmm. What do... What, like, what type... Hmm, I'm trying to think of some idea. I really can't think of anything. I, I, mm, it's just going to be me, this whole video is just going to be me trying to decide what chord progression I should do, or like what this instrument should be. If I can find something. I think I've come up with something actually. I think I want it in G minor. Okay. I like I like the two first chord. Actually, kind of. I don't know. Oh, I, I really don't know. I'm so indecisive. I don't even know if indecisive is the right word. It's a bit boring, but I can make it sound more interesting. I've made a song that already sounds exactly like this. I need to find something new. Actually, I think I like this idea. This like this has been like five minutes of me trying to find a chord progression. Um. I think I like that. I think I'll change this. Yeah, I like this so far. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm, I usually find the chords that I want for a song. And then I usually do the drums. Wait, 
what style should I go for? Should I go for, like, dance? Well, it's EDM. Of course it's dance. But should I go for, like, future bass, house? Now, I'll, I'll just do... F not, not that... Oh, my goodness. I don't even know what I was doing. I'll just go for four on the floor. Simple. What instrument should I do? Um, I make some really weird sounds when I'm very indecisive. You no, know, I will go with deep bass house here. This. This is going to take an extremely long time to um, upload this video if it's very long. Let me mute that. So I'm going to layer that with um, pile driver. Which should be somewhere down here. There we go. I kind of like that actually. Then, oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna layer this with two other drum kits. Infinity, I think it's, yeah, it's called Infinity. Which I can get better claps. Well, not better claps, but thicker claps. Thick! <laughs> um, where's infinity? It would be up here. It should be here. Infinity. There we go. Actually, you know what I want to do with this? I think I want to make this loop four bars. And I don't want to put that there. There we go. Four bars instead. And so I can have a crash on the one. And so the crashes don't hit too often. Because it usually sounds really weird if the crash is hit too often. I'll have that. Actually, wait. I kind of want to add a, um, a kick here. And same with on here. A layer of that to add more um, thickness to it. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the right term. Let's listen. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I don't usually come up with drums this quickly. Like, I usually take such a long time. I think me trying to rush myself is actually helping me come up with something new, which I never thought I'd say. What would that sound like? Oh, I like that. I like it layered. That's pretty cool. Um, okay. What else do I want to add? Oh, I want to add, like, this, um, like, pulsing in and out white noise. Okay, so this next part might be hard for some of you. I don't know if that's going to even make any sense. But I use an app for sidechain um, so you can get things pulse in and out. I don't know if everyone who watches this video has that. It's called Pump House. Um, yeah, I don't know if everyone has that. I'm pretty sure not everyone does because it costs money. Not in Australia where I'm from. But I've, set, I've heard people say it costs money, which I thought was really weird. Why would it not cost anything here, but it costs money in America? I don't know. Oh, I don't want to start that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's a bit weird that it costs money in America, but not here. But yeah, um, you can use a thing called automation in GarageBand to get that in and out. I might show you how to do that in this video. I'm pretty sure this is a drum kit I want. No, it's not. Was it this one? 
Yeah, it's this drum kit I want. And what I do with these crushes is I do this. Which might sound a bit weird and crazy, but then I add pump house onto it, which is the app I was talking about, the add side chain. I, I, you can do this with automation as well, and I won't show you how to do that. I already think I already said that. Whatever. <laughs> the, um, yeah, I'll just continue. I'll show you how to do it with side chain as well. Not side chain, automation. I can't say the right words. So this is what it sounds like. Actually, I don't know if I like that um, second one. Actually, I think I'm using the wrong drum kit. I think I normally use this one. Yeah, I normally use that one. It's not pulsing in and out how I want it to. I, I'll just add a second layer over this. I'm liking these drums actually. I, I really do. Okay, so now I'm going to add some hi-hats with modern 909. And I'm going to layer these hi-hats with uh, another drum kit called After Party, I think. Actually, I won't add those um, top ones. And then I'll add one there, like that. Like that. Like that. Actually, I'm not, I don't know if I like this white noise. I'll, I'll keep it for later, maybe. Maybe I can add in, like, a chorus if I even make a chorus. Um, so this is what it's sounding like. I'm going to add this, and I'm also going to add a ride. Ride. Yeah, it's called a ride. And then I'm going to turn the volume of the rides down. And the volume of this up. What the f- I pressed on that. That was weird, okay. <laughs> I think I selected two things. Whatever, I'll take this and, um, I'll go get After Party, which is here. So I'm going to layer these on top of each other. I don't want the right on this one. I want that. And now I want to add some swing, a one sixteen swing rhythm. Yeah, like that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now I think I should get onto some sort of bass sound. Yeah, I don't think I like this chord like that. Maybe I can just do this. Yeah, I think I like that more. Actually, I think I want to work on the chords first. And I think I want to keep this piano just like a pad in the background. So I'll, I'll add two pianos and then I'll add like some strings or like a synth to it. Make it punchier. Then add side chain. Also, I have another app which I use for reverb, 
But there's uh, one that comes with GarageBand, which is pretty much the same, like Track Reverb. It's pretty similar. This one just has... Yeah, it's pretty much the same. This one just has knobs, which I find a bit easier than what? GarageBand, like the sliders. I find this a bit easier. So I'm going to turn the width all the way up, damping all the way up, and wetness down. Pre delay off. So hear how it sounds like wider now? Also, ignore my Discord notifications. I have a lot of friends on Discord, like too many. That's I was clearing out a lot of them, oh, like yesterday. Oh, I should lay it up with the new piano. This piano right here. This one doesn't have a long decay on it though. This one doesn't have a long decay, but I can make it sound like it decays with that reverb app. So damping all the way up with all the way, actually no, damping off, so make it sound like longer. Keep the wetness the same on this one. Yeah, it makes it sound like it goes for a little longer. And I'm going to add a third piano, which is, nope, not that one. No, not that one either. There's so many things in here now. This one, classical grand. I'm also gonna add the reverb on this one. So it sounds wider. And then now I'm gonna pan these. That's what it sounds like together. Now I'm gonna put track pan to each side like this. And all three. So it sounds like that. And now with the drums, it sounds like this. Okay, that's a good start. I'm going to find a pad now, which I'm going to layer with this. Oh, maybe I should pan this back. The side chain stuff doesn't matter. I can just put that back on. What type of pad should I have? Like something like stab, not stabby, but like very sharp or something like mellow. I don't know if those are the right words. I'm pretty sure they are. Ooh. Um, not that one. Um, analog silk. This one. That's an octave too low. Let me turn it up one octave. It almost is like a saw now, which I like. They are like that. Let's listen to it all together. Yeah, I'm liking that. Maybe another octave higher on the analog silk, actually. Yeah, I like it one octave higher. So now I'm going to have this like long note of this string on the fifth going throughout and having side chain on it. Um, so I'm going to change my key to G because if we use any loops, the loops will be in the right key. So I'm going to add a bit more reverb, sharp, well, treble up and add pump house to make it pump in and out with the kick. So this is what it'll sound like with the um, pad and piano. Actually, 
Actually, maybe another octave higher on this. I like that. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now time for bass. What type of bass should I have? Should I have like 80s? Electric bass? Or like electric guitar bass, if that makes any sense. Ele oh, whatever. <laughs> or like a synth. Hmm. I'm thinking of like 80s almost. A good 80s bass is in, well, bass, of course, an alchemy synth. Down here. Modern 80s bass. Here we go. That's one octave too low. This is the one I used in my Never Gonna Give You Up cover because it's very accurate to that. Um, I'll just um, have the silk. Um, what is it called? Analog silk playing with it. And I need to come up with like some sort of groovy rhythm. This is what I have a hard time doing. Come up, coming. Oh my goodness, coming up with a um, groovy rhythm. Oh, I like that actually. Yeah, I like that. Then I'm going to do this. Yeah, I really like that actually. Oh, I should add some swing on it to match with the drums because I'm going for that, like that, that feel. And I'm going to layer this bass with maybe one or two more things. There's another instrument. I forgot what it's called. It's actually not a bass instrument. It's actually a lead instrument, every synth lead, but it has like a bass sound to it. This one. Look how groovy is that? That's pretty cool. I need an electric piano. Well, I don't need one, but I want an electric piano in this. Um, hmm, I think it'll fit with the bass. What's this instrument again? I want to listen to this. Oh, I don't like that. That's creepy. <laughs> um, let's try this one. That almost sounds like a guitar, for goodness sake. <laughs> I'm looking for, like, a, a nice, a, not electric piano sound. What about this one? No. This one. There we go. Tremolo down, chorus down. Just removing all the effects from it. I'm adding my um, reverb, damping, 
Yeah, I'll keep it halfway and normal. Put this down a little bit. And then I'm going to add my side chain on top of that. And then put that down a little bit. Yeah, I like that much better. Wait. There we go. Yeah, this is a really weird song. I kind of like it though. Maybe I need like some more bass instruments to make it sound more full because the bass is kind of weak, but not at the same time. I don't know. There's this other sample. It's like an electric um, upright bass, whatever it's called. It has, I forgot what it's named. Synth upright bass. There we go. These are the exact instruments I used in my Never Gonna Give You Up cover for the bass. There we go. Yeah, it needs more. I don't know what to add to it though. Yeah, I'm not liking that anymore. That like in and out thing. know what's missing from it i'm not good at making tutorials at all so <laughs> if i was better at it this would probably sound a lot better too because i'd be able to edit out the parts i don't know like but i don't know how to edit videos properly the best i can do is like edit an image over like audio that's the best i can do and maybe add a little intro but that's it like that's all i can do this just sounds terrible to me might sound good to someone else. I like the drums and like the chords, but I don't know if I'm liking this feel, but I've already made it. And I can't be bothered making this video over again. I can't talk properly over again. Wait, maybe I add a synth over top of that. Okay. Maybe this will save it. Hopefully. A funky synth. Okay, let's try. Oh wait, maybe I can delete the other bass sounds. Lots of new bass sounds were added. These are an octave too high. Kind of like that. Let's. What does that sound like? I kind of like that more than the eighties one. Well, it's still eighties. I'll delete the eighties ones. That was such a waste of time. At least I got the rhythm I wanted. I guess that's something I got out of it. But that was such a waste of time. Um. Hmm. Now these are an octave too low. What is happening? Now it's an oct- Oh god, I hate how octaves change. It's so annoying. I'm liking that more. I like the grittiness to it. Yeah, now I want some plucky sounds to go along with this rhythm that the bass is doing.
I want to see what this sounds like. Those are not plucky sounds. I'm in the bass section, so why would they be plucky sounds? Wrong. Oh, I don't want to go there. I want to go to synth classics. Yeah, this is the instrument I want. Yeah, I like that. Um... Yeah, I wasn't talking that um, whole time. I was just trying to figure out harmonies. Does this sound good? That last chord was wrong. That helps so much. I like it so much more now. Well, I guess the tutorial's done then. How to make an EDM song in GarageBand. I didn't even listen to the whole thing and I already like it. Anyways, how to make an EDM song in GarageBand. This to tutorial took a painfully long time to make because it's unedited and um, I'm bad at making tutorials. But here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> I guess that's the end to this video and me being ridiculous. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't know what else to say <laughs> except goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everyone. <laughs>